Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan Tischler from Inhale MD Medical Consulting. I'm a medical cannabis specialist, and I'm here to help you improve your quality of life through the use of medical cannabis. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about a process called decarboxylation, another one of those fancy long words. But basically what this comes down to is preparing marijuana to be most available for use. One of the things that everybody knows is that marijuana contains THC and that's the active ingredient that gets you high. And the problem is actually that's not entirely true. First of all, that does get you high, but there are about 79 other chemicals in there that are also important. And we've sort of talked about that in other videos. The other thing that people don't realize is that THC is the active, is an active ingredient, but it doesn't exist in the bud as you pick it from the, flower, from the plant. It's actually THCA, which is in the flower. And that you need to convert that THCA into THC in order to get any of the benefit from that. That's the process called decarboxylation. And I don't really think you want to hear anything about the, the chemistry of that. But the issue is that you do that by heating it. So if you put your marijuana in a joint and light it up, you're burning it and that converts your THCA into THC. It also does it in a very, very crude and brutal fashion. And so the efficiency of that conversion is really poor, meaning most of the THCA is getting lost in the smoke and not actually doing you any good at all. The other thing to know is that when you have THC, it also converts into another chemical which is less active called CBN. So you have two chemical processes that are going along at the same time. And what you really want to do is maximize the conversion of THCA into THC without losing too much of it into CBN. So how do you do this? Well, is I've pointed out that high temperatures really don't do a very good job of that because they're inefficient. You really need to go kind of like you were doing a barbecue, low and slow, all right? So the idea is before you're going to use the marijuana, you want to decarboxylate it. And there are devices out there that will help you do this. But essentially what you want to do is, is break up the flour into usable portions and then heat it for a long period of time. And it turns out that the magic number is 100 and 100. That's 100 degrees Celsius, which is also not surprisingly 212 degrees Fahrenheit or the boiling point of water. And you do that for 100 minutes. Now, don't get silly and put your weed into a pot of boiling water because you're going to have soggy weed soup if you do that. What you need to do is isolate that, say in a boiling bag, or even if your oven will go that low, just on a mat in your oven, and you, and you essentially boil it in its pouch for 100 minutes and take it out, and you will have had the most conversion with the least loss. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found that to be enjoyable and informative. Remember to visit us at www.inhalemd.com because we're here to help you feel better and return to a more productive and enjoyable life.